Marching in today's parade are 311 of the graduating Marines from Company F. Among the 311 Marines are two Marines who displayed outstanding performances in two individually graded events. Private Kim Yu Ju Yoon from Platoon 2,121 is the company high shooter, scoring a 343 out of 350. Private Leslie V. Cardenas from Platoon 2,123 is the most physically fit Marine, scoring a 293 out of 300 on the physical fitness test and a 300 out of 300 on the combat fitness test. They will be receiving awards from the Marine Corps Association and Foundation. Present today is the company honor graduates recruiter, Sergeant Tristan Yoder. Also present today is the primary marksmanship instructor with a platoon high shooting average, Sergeant Carson Geary. Recruit training is comprised of subjects required to produce basic Marines who function effectively in garrison, are trained in rudimentary individual field and combat skills, and practice the personal and professional traits which distinguishes them as Marines. Examples of these traits are discipline, the achievement of self-control and self-awareness which assures respect for authority, instant and willing obedience to orders, and the self-reliance to maintain or improve those traits which exemplify a Marine. Military bearing, consistently demonstrating military presence and personal awareness, as well as the proper wearing and maintenance of uniforms. Esprit de corps, acquiring the common spirit of the Marine Corps that inspires enthusiasm, devotion, pride, initiative, Teamwork, aggressiveness, determination, moral courage, integrity, camaraderie, and the burning desire to work with and for others towards excellence in common goals. For 248 years, Marines have fought and won whenever and wherever the nation calls. In the harshest conditions, over the most brutal terrain, and against the most formidable enemies, Marines defend the ideals of freedom with grit and tenacity. Although battlefields change and capabilities evolve, history proves that true victory comes from the individual Marine with stilled resolve, the drive to overcome any obstacle, and the warrior spirit to fight on against all odds. It takes that steadfast faithfulness, semper fidelis, to core, country, and each other that abounds throughout our storied legacy. Marines today remain in combat for deploy throughout the world, confronting every challenge with courage, loyalty, and faithfulness. They are resolved to be the most ready when the nation is least ready. To defend freedom anytime and anywhere to stand ready to aid those devastated by natural disasters, to pay tribute to those who have forged our proud legacy, and to honor the families and loved ones who faithfully stand beside us. For the Marines of Company F, today marks the end of the 13-week recruit training cycle. They have marched countless miles at Camp Pendleton, as well as on this parade deck, and have been trained as are all Marines as basic riflemen. In addition, due to an intensive physical training program, their strength and endurance have doubled since their arrival aboard the Recruit Depot. They are Marines, qualified to take their places in the ranks of the world's finest fighting organization. Platoons are now being aligned from left to right in order to get them into their exact positions for the parade.
next portion of the ceremony will be our national anthem. We welcome veterans and members of the armed forces to join us in rendering appropriate honors with a military salute. For guests who have not served in the military, it is proper etiquette during the national anthem to place their right hands over their hearts and for those in the audience wearing headgear to remove it. Will the guests please rise for the presentation of the colors. Ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem. Thank you. Please be seated. At the command, post the colors. The color guard moves into position within the parade. This signifies that the entirety of the parade has been formed and is ready to be presented to the command. Following the command, parade rest. The parade adjutant will give the command sound off, which signals the bands a parade forward of the assembled Marines while playing military marching music.
Battle Parade Adjutant now presents the assembled command to the Commander of Troops. At the command, Officer Center March. All unit commanders and guide on bearers march to the front and center of the formation. Historically, it was at this point that commanding officers would issue orders and instructions to the unit commanders. Following this, the unit leaders would face about, return to their units, and pass the information along to their Marines.
throughout our nation's history, millions of men and women have earned the title United States Marine. Many who have helped shape our history join us here today. In keeping with the tradition of once a Marine, always a Marine, we would like to recognize them. At this time, those in the audience who have served as Marines, please rise. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for their dedicated service to Corps and Country. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Battalion Commander for 2nd Recruit Training Battalion, Lieutenant Colonel James R. Smith. Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Brigadier General James A. Ryans, the Commanding General of the Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego, as well as on behalf of Colonel Peter M. Rumler, the Commanding Officer of the Recruit Training Regiment, welcome to the graduation of Company F. To start, I'd like to recognize today's parade ring official, Sergeant Major Yoon, whose impressive biography you will hear shortly, and who presently serves as the Sergeant Major of the Marine Corps for the Republic of Korea. Sergeant Major, you and your Marines are critical partners in the global security and peace, so thank you for joining us here today. I would also like to recognize some special guests of the Commanding General, a group of educators from Texas, Colorado, and Utah who spent the past week learning about the Marine Corps. And I'd like to say thank you for your curiosity about what we do, but more importantly, I'd like to say thank you for what you do for the youth of America. Ladies and gentlemen, round of applause for our educators. It's my distinct pleasure to speak to you this morning for just a few minutes to express both the pride and the gratitude which I feel for this formation behind me. And that begins with you, the friends and families of these new Marines. Thank you for trusting us with your loved one. Thank you for your love and support on their journey to this momentous day. And thank you for your continued support in their new vocation. From all of us, welcome to the Marine Corps family. And speaking of families, seated to the right of the reviewing stand, are the families of the Company F staff, and no one knows more than you the time and dedication that it takes to transform a civilian into a United States Marine. Sergeant Major and I are incredibly grateful for your sacrifice and support, which enables these drill instructors and officers to perform this critical task. Ladies and gentlemen, would you join me in a round of applause for the families of Fatal Fox? You know, making Marines is truly a team effort, and at the forefront of that effort are Marine recruiters stationed across this great country. These men and women work tirelessly to identify, educate, and inspire the next generation of Marines. This legion of recruiters are represented today by Sergeant Yoder from recruiting substation Roseville, California, who is responsible for guiding the honor graduate, Lance Corporal Rigby, into our Corps. And for any of you 17 to 28 year olds out here, inspired by what you see, my honor recruiter has assured me he'll be available to speak to you immediately following graduation. My other partner in the endeavor to make Marines are the instructors at Weapons Field Training Battalion who teach the critical combat skills necessary to fight and win in any climb and place. They're represented today by Corporal Gary, our top performing marksmanship instructor from the rifle range. Ladies and gentlemen, would you join me in a round of applause for our recruiters and our combat instructors. Well done, Marines. The last group I'd like to recognize certainly needs no introduction, for everyone knows the distinct campaign cover of a legendary Marine Corps drill instructor. And from the moment a recruit arrives in the depot, there is a drill instructor with them, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, tirelessly instilling the qualities and esprit de corps of a United States Marine and leaving an indelible mark on those they lead. Trust me, these Marines will never forget the name, the face, or that sweet, tender, gentle, loving voice of their drill instructors. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for the Marines who make Marines, the drill instructors! Are these Marines behind me, are on average 20-year-old high school graduates, and 11 have college degrees. They come to us from every state and territory in the Western recruiting region and 13 countries around the world, having emigrated from places like South Korea, Guatemala, and Germany. And when they raised their right hand and swore an oath to support and defend the Constitution of the United States, they differentiated themselves from 99% of their peers. 
Upon arrival here, these drill instructors forged them in the fires of martial discipline, shaping their minds and bodies in the mold of generations of Marines who have worn our cloth. These new Marines have proved themselves worthy, carrying heavy loads, long distances over rugged and mountainous terrain to be where they're needed, when they're needed, to accomplish any mission. You may notice some change in your new Marine. They stand a little taller, look a little leaner, and sport an outstanding Marine Corps hairstyle. And moms and dads, I guarantee they know how to make their beds. But the truly important change is the one that's taken place within. For they have been immersed in our core values of honor, courage, and commitment. And by virtue of standing here today, they have embraced those as their own. So it is because of this, because of the journey they have undergone, and because of the moral, mental, and physical development they have displayed, that I am pleased to present 311 young men and women who can forever proudly claim the title United States Marine. And if you'd excuse me for just a minute, I'd like to address the newest members of our Corps. Good morning, Marines. As Sergeant Major and I are incredibly proud of you. We've watched you learn, strive, and grow these past months, and we are pleased to welcome you to our ranks. You can be justifiably proud of what you've accomplished here. You earned your tan belt in our martial arts program. Some of you learned to swim in water survival training, and many overcame a fear of heights on our confidence and obstacle course. You learned weapons employment to deliver precision fires on targets from a staggering distance of 500 yards, and in a final test, you completed the grueling crucible, where you were required to demonstrate exemplary character, physical and mental toughness, the ability to decide, act, and communicate, leadership, and a warfighter spirit. And every Marine, past and present, expects you to display those same attributes in your future trials. So having completed, the most rigorous recruit training on this globe, you are ready to carry on our tradition as America's Naval Expeditionary Force in readiness. As you go forward on the next leg of your journey, I implore you, be safe, be smart, and make good decisions. Remember, that Eagle Globe and Anchor pressed into the palm of your hand atop the Reaper represents 248 years of Marines who have come before you. You must always be worthy of that legacy and protect what you have earned. And so on behalf of the Marines, Sailors and civilians here aboard the Marine Corps Recruit Depot, let me offer you a traditional naval parting of fair winds and following seas. Congratulations, Marines. Semper Fidelis. Welcome to the Corps. Now taking their position in the reviewing area is today's parade reviewing official, Sergeant Major Yoon Seong Yong, Sergeant Major Republic of Korea, Sergeant Major of the Marine Corps. He is accompanied by Sergeant Major Orange O.A. Levy, Sergeant Major Marine Corps Recruit Depot, San Diego and the Western Recruiting Region. Sergeant Major Yoon, a native of Incheon, South Korea, enlisted in the Republic of Korea Marine Corps as an infantryman in February of 1990. He has served in a variety of challenging billets in numerous commands to include drill instructor, Republic of Korea, Marine Corps Education and Training Command from 1991 through 1998. Non-commissioned officer in charge of administration, Yeonpyeong Unit, South Korea. 
Recruit Training Regimental Sergeant Major, Republic of Korea, Marine Corps Education and Training Command. Sergeant Major, Republic of Korea, Marine Corps Marine Aviation Group. Sergeant Major Yoon is currently serving as the Republic of Korea Sergeant Major of the Marine Corps. Sergeant Major Yoon has earned many awards and distinguished throughout his career, including a 2014 Republic of Korea Chief of Naval Operation Commendation, a 2017 Chairman of Republic of Korea Joint Chiefs of Staff Commendation, and a 2022 Republic of Korea Minister of Defense Commendation. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Sergeant Major Yoon Seong Yoon. Pass and review is a tradition within all military units, allowing the unit commander to formally inspect the unit under their charge. More than a million Marines have been trained here in the past 100 years and have departed San Diego for combat in conflicts around the world, including places whose names are immediately associated with Marine courage and dedication. Names such as Guadalcanal, Tarawa, Iwo Jima, Pusan, Incheon, Chosen Reservoir, Quezon, Hue City, Lebanon, Granada, Panama, Kuwait, Somalia, Fallujah, Ramadi, Marja, Sangen, and our most current operations worldwide. This parade deck is rich in history and tradition, and no Marine trained here ever forgets its sights and sounds. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as the national flag passes directly in front of you, please rise. Once it passes, you may be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, the Commander of Troops, First Sergeant Ernesto A. Sanchez, and the Regimental Staff.
Marine Band San Diego, Marine Corps Recruit Depot, San Diego, California. Series 2,121, Series Chief Drill Instructor Gunnery Sergeant Michael A. Galvan, and Platoon 2,121, Senior Drill Instructor Staff Sergeant Robert C. Stanton. Platoon 2,122, Senior Drill Instructor Gunnery Sergeant Sean M. Hudson. Platoon 2,123, Senior Drill Instructor Staff Sergeant Norma G. Gavalanes. The Regimental Color Guard is led on the march by the Regimental Color Sergeant Drill Instructor Sergeant Emmanuel J. Just. Series 2125, Series Chief Drill Instructor Gunnery Sergeant Hunter M. Misner, and Platoon 2125, Senior Drill Instructor Gunnery Sergeant Horatio M. Leva. Platoon 2126, Senior Drill Instructor Sergeant Colton R. Chansey. Platoon 2127, Senior Drill Instructor Staff Sergeant Frederick J. Vallegas. Ladies and gentlemen, if you turn to page 21 of your graduation pamphlets, you will find the Marines Hymn. The Marines Hymn has a history dating back to 1859 and has a long-standing tradition for Marines to face the direction of the music and stand at attention when it is heard. It is now directed that all Marines present who have served honorably, and ladies and gentlemen, you're all encouraged to join. Sing the words to the first verse as Marine Band San Diego performs Anchors Away, followed by the Marines Hymn. Will the guests please rise?
Thank you. Please be seated. The Marine Corps' uniqueness and strength as an elite fighting force is directly attributable to the magnificent efforts of the drill instructors and company officers who train and supervise the recruits. The distinct qualities of spirit and discipline, the heart and soul of every Marine have been developed, nurtured, and ingrained in recruits through their observance and relationship with their drill instructors and officers. Recruit training is the very foundation of the Corps. Each year, recruit training provides thousands of America's finest young men and women with the basic knowledge and skills to function in a profession characterized by its own set of high values and tough standards. The most important thing we do in the Marine Corps is make Marines. The individual Marine is the Corps. That is what we do here. For the Marines graduating today, the long, arduous journey of the last 13 weeks is but a small step into the future of the Marine Corps. As they prepare to fill our ranks, they do so with unquestionable support for the high ideals and standards of the United States of America and the United States Marine Corps. Although Company F prepares for their final dismissal from boot camp, their initial training is not over. Soon after graduation, they will report to the School of Infantry, Camp Pendleton, California, where they will continue to be trained to serve as an effective member of a Marine Rifle Squad. The intense initial training that every Marine undergoes is designed to instill the fundamental premise that every Marine is a rifleman. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we would like to introduce to you the Marines responsible for ensuring the success of the difficult transition required to become a Marine. The company commander is Captain Stephanie L. Spangler. The company first sergeant is First Sergeant Ernesto A. Sanchez. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a round of applause for the company staff of Company F. The next portion of the ceremony will be the traditional function of retiring the guidons. The guidons have been carried by the platoons throughout recruit training and are being retired to symbolize the disbanding of platoons. All similar units in the Marine Corps carry such guidons, which identify the unit and are a source of pride to each individual member. Note that the honor of carrying these guidons is bestowed upon those Marines who displayed outstanding leadership qualities, motivation, and character, and were selected as the platoon honor graduates. The honor graduates also compete for the titles of series and company honor graduate. They are considered the top Marines graduating today and have demonstrated the highest potential for future leadership and responsibility in the Marine Corps. The guidons will now be returned to the drill instructors.
the honor graduates will now be presented a plaque by the battalion commander, Lieutenant Colonel James R. Smith, and the battalion Sergeant Major, Sergeant Major Amina T. Serake. Ladies and gentlemen, please hold your applause until all honor graduates have been recognized. The honor graduate for platoon 2,121 is Private First Class Charles J. Wilson from Humboldt, Texas. The honor graduate for platoon 2,122 is Private First Class Dakari E. Tresivan from Magnolia, Texas. The honor graduate for platoon 2,123, and the company honor graduate is Lance Corporal Amanda D. Rigby from Granite Bay, California. Lance Corporal Rigby is also the recipient of the Chesty Puller Award for her outstanding meritorious performance while in recruit training. The, the honor graduate for platoon, 2,125, and the series honor graduate is Private First Class, Michael K. Hamner, from Mantros, Colorado. The honor graduate for platoon, 2,126, is Private First Class, Eric C. Lopez, from Sunland, Tahunga. And the honor graduate for platoon 2,127 is Private First Class Dalton D. Spencer from Dallas, Texas. Ladies and gentlemen, the honor graduates of Company F. The company first sergeant will now give the command to the senior drill instructors to dismiss their platoons. Needless to say, this will be the most welcome command they have received throughout recruit training. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's ceremony.
Ladies and gentlemen, as a reminder, please do not cross the parade deck and utilize the far ends. Pick up any trash and personal belongings and utilize all waste receptacles. Please start making your way towards the parking lots, utilizing the walkway behind the bleachers and go behind the yellow curb. Your Marine has been briefed on meeting you in the parking lot behind the yellow curb. Please keep in mind the level of training your Marine has received and afford the same opportunities to